Hey, what's up guys? I uh, figured I'd do a war recap. I believe this is Warwind 201. 200 got erased by the great update. Um, see, we beat clan something or other. <coughs> they were pretty outmatched, but... I figured I'd go through this, give some suggestions. Up first, we got WC on a Town Hall 10 attack. Looks like he's... Hitting the Town Hall 10 after it's been hit. No, some good placements. Withdrawing the CC. Burns off the loons. Good thing about the new spell update is Poison takes out loons now. And almost that entire drag. So, Poison gets a huge buff. Doing a Pentagolum. It's only using two he or uh, freeze spells he's been the freeze master lately going with three but kind of an odd spot to funnel his troops in but he does break that left side gets him going i see he accidentally hit the healer on the wrong spot tough break golems get pinched over to the right pretty bad Got the two star though. Funneled his troops in the middle and that's the key. Looks like he does a little clean on the outside buildings. Not much to say but a solid Town Hall 10 two star. Definitely a little sloppy. But we'll take it. Here we go with a three star by him. Good moves. So it's Golem's outside. I know he thought he had uh, some Teslas over there, but you can see it just takes one whiz to break that funnel on each area. But this Golem's by the Queen. They get shot, but the Queen's so close to the edge. Guarantee he knew that uh, those whiz would back him up. Gets his Golem's in. Great jump placement you can see cover it all those cells gets that funnel on the right cut now he's going with the three freeze spells freezes the CC also with that new update um, freeze works on air troops so big buff to the freeze spell he used the poison while they're frozen Got a healed P.E.K.K.A. coming in on the backside. Continues to cut some funnels with some extra archers and the P.E.K.K.A. His golems are still tanking. Those three heal spells did some wonders keeping his golems alive. Clutch move by the wall breakers to get the P.E.K.K.A. in. Coming down to the wire. Burning off some of those extra buildings. Still hasn't even used his queen's ability. He uses at the end to punch through the wall and seal the deal. Nice three star, man. Mad Rush doing a three star Town Hall 10. A very horrible Town Hall 10. That's why you don't rush, you get three starred. Let's get the troops out. If you're gonna bring that poison guys um, just get in the habit when those troops come out hit them with the poison slow them down freeze them in their spot until you get your troops up there see where I used the poison troops were moving over the golem and he threw it where they already were you gotta know they're still moving so lead them with the poison if you're gonna drop it drop it there so it hits them um, Otherwise, hit them as they're coming out before they get to that spot. Remember, the new poison builds up. So the first couple pulses start off small. And then it gets more powerful the longer it's out there. FYI. Good jump placement. He's covering all those cells. One, two, three, four, five cells. He's got the P.E.K.K.A. marching on the outside, drawing fire, with his uh, whiz following, shooting behind it. Just keep 
keeps raging his troops through the whole weak base. Get it all down. Cleanup mode. Nice three star, man. It's only a two star, but we'll go over it. So what we're looking for here is uh, getting some funnels cut, getting your troops cut. Um, you're throwing in all three of your golems in the same area. You can definitely do that, or you can save a golem. You know, place them specifically to draw fire. He does good by not aggroing the CC. And then all these whiz are down. You don't need to do that. Um, one whiz will cut a funnel and one whiz will cut a funnel there and maybe place a whiz there if he brought that golem to right there he would have drawn fire and you can cut funnels way out here then get your witches going get skellies running and then send in your wall breakers see when you mash in all these whizzes they start to bunch up there 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 there's multiple whiz all together there's four right there you don't need them all together, it's a higher chance of them getting rained down by splash and then taken out. So use those whiz smartly. But he does rage the wall breakers and troops in. Fortunately, he hits that double bomb. It's a good jump placement, good poison placement. Just ran out of troops by I got there. All that splash damage rage down put in his whizzes all together it's best send them in some waves get your funnel cut where you want on the outside and then send them in so ran out of troops in the middle that will lead you to a two star every time here's a nice user's choice on a goho Cuts the funnel on the outside, kills off the queen with the suicide king, jammed golems in the center, poison, backed up the golems with some power, and comes his hogs, or my hogs, whatever. Heal straight through the entire base as your hogs collect together. Backup crew comes in. Hogs hammer down the king. Got cleanup troops everywhere. Simple three star. On a simple poor base. Easy does it. 81%. Let's see where it went wrong. golem all right well you're jamming in all these whiz let's think about it guys how much power do these shoot out do you need four whiz to take out one building on a funnel or five whiz to take out one building on a funnel no so if you're gonna set your pekka down go ahead and cut your funnel with one whiz there maybe two whiz there two whiz there then you can put one whiz, one whiz, one whiz. That's five whiz total instead of the uh, 20 you got out already. Then bring them in on inside. You get more power out of your whiz. It is possible to over DPS stuff. Nice job saving the uh, golems though. For backup, for when your whiz start moving forward, that's a good move. Bring the whiz inside. Rages his troops through the CC. Oof. Bad luck on the bomb. He did. So when you set down the golems, you set down a bunch of whizzes. Not such a good idea. Um, but then, here's what I don't understand. All these witches together. So if you're going to set down a couple whiz to cut the funnel, and then your golem to draw defense, 
Then set your witches up. Get their skellies running everywhere. If you get skellies running all over the base, they're going to draw fire. Skellies acts as an extra shield. And then bring extra whiz behind those witches. So the skellies are running. The whiz or witches are going to keep on producing those. And then your whiz can be a second wave behind your witches throwing down power. And that's your kill shots. So the troops rage through the wall. It's good. Rages his troops into the center. Very good move again. Decent funneling on it. Just seems like it's going to run out of troops here soon. Got the jump going out the center and into the next cell. Also smart. Just didn't have enough troops. It's left alive as the witches, which means your golems and everything took all the fire. And your witches didn't throw enough skellies in front of them. So get those witches up. Remember, they produce skellies in multiple waves. So they're going to bring out four first, four next. So just pop them up early. Get those skellies running wild. That's a good, good key to success there. Another simple go-ho. So here's what I'm talking about by cutting with one or two whiz. Not bringing a lot of whiz in, so brought in one golem to draw fire from one, two, three. So I got all those zones covered, so I can cut a funnel with four whiz. That's all it took to cut that entire funnel. Then brought up the next golem to go in the same spot. My troops are already funneled in, so with four whiz and one golem, I was able to funnel all the troops into the zone that I need. Heroes jump into the queen. CC pulls. CC queen's down. King should be down. Nope. In come the hogs and a surgical lay. Some heal spells. Extra heal spells. By the way, I did this riding in a vehicle, so please excuse the sloppiness. In come my cleanup troops, backside. Fortunately, the last bit of my hogs were able to take down those defenses as they die. And everything goes down for a three star. Three star. Um, obviously, what we saw is three star. Keys to success. One whiz breaking a funnel. One whiz breaking a funnel. Golem coming in when the whiz reach fire. He's already saving troops. Brings in the golems. Whiz backing up when he knows the golem's going to hit the CC. Just come in, wall breaks his golems to where he needs. Rages him through. See so what he's able to do by breaking that funnel and getting his troops going. He's able to use spells real late in the game. The later you have to use spells, the more your troops are going to benefit them when they come to those high HP and DPS defense. Jumps his troops out. Another key. There you go. Nice three star.
Yeah, yep. Corleone with the three star. We've seen this base many times. It is an awesome base to hog. Throws his golems up with Wiz coming in a fury to smoke those heroes. Wall breaks in. Lost a lot of wall breakers on that. Pumps down that poison. Side whiz, always a good move. Key to backside troops is wait until the troops in the core are under fire and then put them down. Or you'll just lose them. He waited. Good move. This is a bad base in general. Don't know why people make it. Three star attack on a very rush town hall nine. But I already see good things. You're not breaking the CC. You're not aggroing any uh, heroes. You're breaking the funnel with minimal troops. And then you can bring the rest of your troops. Hopefully, next he brings in some witches to get skellies going. Well, let's find out. Eh. Yep. There you go. Couple extra whiz and a few witches. Skelly's rolling galore. You notice what was the first thing into the base to aggro stuff? Skelly's. Skelly's everywhere. As long as you get those skellies up there, look at all these things. To aggro in those troops, you're gonna save your golems, you're gonna save your heroes, you're gonna save your whiz. Troops going in, rages and heals in the middle. Backside loons. Could have waited a little bit for your troops to draw on fire. Like this loon that went down early, nothing was drawn fire. This loon comes in as things are drawn fire. It's probably going to be a good loon. Obviously, that loon to take out cannons was a great loon. stuff it's all about taking those defenses down so nice moves don't rush your bases another rush base got that first funnel could have got golems going up there a little early. One issue, you got all these whizzes you put down together. They're about to get blasted. Um, get your skellies rolling early. If you pop down your witches, you're going to stay back there and throw their skellies out first. They can protect your whiz going in. Are in. Wall breakers get extra rage. It's a good move. Miss the funnel on your queen. But she'll probably go around and chop everything down. Jumped his troops out. That is an awesome spot to put a jump. He covered the entire rest of the base. Nice moves. Dominated them. 
There you go. Another nice three star. Good job, man. Rush base three star. Hopefully he starts on the south, east, yep. Got his golems rounding up. Already like it. Got your golems rounding up. You did bunch up some whiz. Um, but you got the funnels cutting on the outside, which is nice. But look at all these skellies running. You got your witches in there early. That's always a nice, beautiful sight. They can aggro things. And you rage them all as the CC meets them up. Another brilliant move. Heal. And then you still got a rage. There you go. Got a lot of troops in the rage. Both heroes, a bunch of whiz, a bunch of wizards. Or uh, witches. Jump the troops out. Another decent jump spot. Only thing you could have done. Sorry. Only thing you could have done a little bit better is you put the jump so it got here. So you get out into there, there, and there, which is nice. Check it out. You drop the jump right there. That will put all of the spots. So we'll get into that, 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 that. Just a good spot to put it. There you go. Nice three star. Go wipe. Get that poison upgraded. You'll get some more damage on the loon. Oh, smoked it anyways. Man, these new poisons do great. I don't know if you noticed as that drag left the poison he's flying. He's still blinking the whole time coming over here. Lasting effects. I like the new poison. Keeping your troops in a nice line. Could have cut the funnel a little bit better. Out of spells already. Only halfway through. That's not a good sign, but... You're down all nine, so should crush the base anyway. There you go. Good move. New Town Hall 9, cleaning up. Guys, don't forget to use your stuff. Poison, troops have already split. Poison them. Get that up there. Don't even think you're going to use it, but use the tools in your tool shed. Base is half cleared, and now you're using your third spell, fourth spell, third spell, which is good. Jumping the troops through, also good move. All in all, uh, pretty solid. Not much to say. Good job. Hall 8 versus Town Hall 8. Good funnel cuts. Banding some wizards out there though. Might have a hard time with those air troops. But <laughs> you did raid your wizards at the perfect spot. Nice move. That heal was kind of useless. Not a single thing was being fired on. Save that heal for the center when everything starts raining down. Might have been a little worried about the CC though. But your wizards smoked them.
Some nice moves. Just a little cleanup game. Wonder if those golems are gonna do some damage by themselves over there. Yep. Alright. Good attack. 8 per se. Another 8 verse 8. On the white flag slash time waster base. Got your whiz in there quick. Under rage. Nice move. Good funnel cutting. Get them to the core. Healing as they get close and raging to punch through. The bad thing about this base is making it. Every, everything's in the core, so as long as you can funnel correctly, get your troops there and rage and heal them in. Should be a piece of cake every time. Nice moves. They're really liking this time waster base. Cutting the. Um, it's going well, but that's not maximizing your DPS. So you do want to get them all in the core, which is nice. But maybe put a drag over here. You're not really going to get fired on. Uh, especially as your troops meet up on this side so if you can cut a funnel over here and cut some funnels as your troops are coming in I'll make sure to keep your drag spread out a little bit rage them in, rage the loons in, rage it all the way through the core that's beautiful I love when they, people build that time waster or white flag base as it's known as. I don't know why you choose a base called white flag. Does that mean you surrender? So. Great attack. Another spread out base. Nice cuts on the drags on the corners. Using the king. Slowing down the drag. Good job funneling. Heal might have been a little useless on this one. There you go. Nice spread on the DPS. Good three star. Ooh, Town Hall 7 versus Town Hall 8, C and B. Cuts the corners. See, it's a little slow at the beginning. But you know where your fire is going to first come from. You can already tell your radius. So as long as you take out buildings for free on the outside, you can march everything in a line. Having a line moving piece by piece, spreading out the DPS. That's what it's all about. King is helping draw some first fire and with the spread. Rage them in. Keep them raged in a line. Keep them with an extra rage. Use that king to your benefit. There you go. Town Hall 7 taken down an 8. Folks, it does not matter how low your troops are, what town you are. You dream it, you can do it. Ah. Once again, taking down another Town Hall 8. Like I said before, just proper planning, guys. 
You can see, it's putting one drag on each building. Cut the funnel already. And he's cutting the funnel heavy over here. So you keep those drags, I assume he's going to put them on each building. They're going to go on a line. Drags have high hit points. They're just a little slow. So three rages. This is a Town Hall 8. It's two Town Hall 8's in a row. Now look at that. This is what you want to see. Each of them around the same line, pointed at different buildings, marching together. Spread your DPS, guys. It's the key to drags. If you see them bunching up, rage different areas. Get those loons in quick. You don't have to wait very long. You saw the last one. The loons are following the drags. This one, the loons are following the drags right on their tail. Fly them in there to punch everything down. They can take some damage too. Might still save your drags. They got down all those air defenses. That's just to clean up the game for your drags. King is helping uh, draw some fire and clean up those outsides. And there you go. Trust the drags. Give them that extra boost. They're slow, but they can take a lot of shots. So rage them. Follow them with loons. Seven versus seven. Should be no brainer. Chops down one air defense. Backs himself up with some extra loons. Domination. Don't think he lost anything. Nice job. Alright, that should be overkill. <laughs> well, that about does it for the high attacks. Um, win uh, 201. I think they got 202 wins now. So, keep it going, Wildcats. Doing great, good teamwork. Remember, spread out your troops. Um, got the low level anchor bases. So it should be easy. Nice job, guys. Keep those uh, three stars rolling. Massive loon run. Remember, cut your funnels, don't waste your troops, don't ever bunch up your troops, doesn't matter what it is. I mean, dregs will teach you to funnel, um, I showed you how to work them in a line, and then that goes into the ground game as you move up. So higher Town Hall 8s if you're doing a go wipe, uh, Town Hall 9s if you're doing go wee wee. You know, cut your funnels with like one or two whiz, that's all it takes on a building. Then march your troops up in a line. Town Hall 9s, protect your troops. Um, can't stress that enough, you know. Get the witches, throw up those skellies. The skellies will take a ton of shots and keep regenerating so your P.E.K.K.A.s don't get rained on. As your pe or your uh, golems. And then as your golems roll up, they'll be able to take more shots. They won't die off, your troops won't die off. Just all around good runs. About it for me guys uh, once again nice win this was a fairly easy team but you guys did good not much to say I was a little miss on the uh, light but good moves kind of love these anchor bases 30 verse 30. Nice win, fellas. I'll see you guys on the next replay. Uh, remember, ask me any questions if you got them. And I will see you guys next time. Good win. Three star all the way up. Two town hall 10 three stars. Nice moves, fellas. Alright, see you guys next time.